Here's my story. I was rewatching Blue Lock. This particular episode where Isagi devours Baro, which was the hypest episode there was. And it was so cool that Isagi, our main character, who wasn't good in the beginning, and now at top tier, who is surpassing the players who didn't believe in him, and who surpassed them. And so, today in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to devour like Isagi. What's up my friend? It's your boy, Ren. So, let's get it started. Here we go! Okay, before we start anything, let's look up what devour means on Google. Devour means verb, eat food or prey, hungrily or quickly. And now on another case with devour, it's similar to the word saying of embrace the suck, which in clients of it means while the current situation sucks, you have to accept it and work towards changing it. That's it about embracing the suck. And now, how does this correlate to devour? Well, they're similar because they both A, know that the situation sucks and accept it, and B, working towards changing it. And again, with devour, eat hungrily or quickly. Now let's go back to the episode of Naruhaya and Baro versus Nagi and Isagi. Isagi struggles to get past Naruhaya and score a goal, versus Naruhaya struggles to score a goal but can get past Isagi. And they both have one skill that the other does not. And so in the match, the one who masters the other skill, or devours the other person's skill, wins the match. And now Isagi, in his mind, knows that he can't compete with the geniuses in Blue Lock. And so he re-strategized his strategy and think of another way to compete with the geniuses, which is the formula of Average Joe times Average Joe. Meaning that he and Naruhaya are both Average Joes, but if he can mimic Naruhaya of getting past the enemy, he can potentially compete with the other geniuses. And so that's what he did. This is where devouring comes into mind and embracing the suck. So Isagi realizes the situation that he's in and accepts it and finds a way to change the situation, whether if it's changing the situation itself or change himself to, and then the situation will change around Isagi's influence. Then Isagi realizes that he and Naruhaya are similar, but lacks one skill that the other does not have. And so, since he and Naruhaya are similar as average Joes, he simply just needs to be slightly better than Naruhaya, since they're both similar, but he can figure out that he can surpass Naruhaya a slight bit, and mimics his off-the-ball movement, and to pass Naruhaya, not only, but devours him. This is the first time that Isagi devoured someone who is the same as him and average skill. Therefore, Isagi wins the game with his new off the ball skill. Another example is with Baro, who Isagi devours. They're in the match of 3-3 with Reo, Kunigami, and Chiguri versus Isagi, Nagi, and Baro. Real short, Baro does not cooperate with passing the ball to his teammates and want his teammates to pass the ball to him which creates a difficult situation and lowers the chances of winning the game. And so, Isagi tries reason with Baro. However, Baro does not budge at all and sticks to his old kingly way, that bitch. And so, Isagi gives up on the idea of trying to work together with Baro, have Baro pass the ball and tries to mimic Baro's kingly way to win the game. But he went above and beyond that point of not just mimicking Baro, but since the situation is set up where Isagi and Baro are slightly on the same skill level, but unable to execute their skill against a unique opponent. And so they can't score a goal. And then Isagi realizes that he can't change Baro the way he is. And so, the only way that he can win the game is not by changing Baro, but by changing himself. And not just changing himself to be better than Baro. And, and this is where devouring plays in. Isagi realizes the situation, accepts it, and figures out how to change the situation. Instead of trying to reason with Baro, he decides to 
use borrow instead, which is more efficient and practically the only way to win the game. And so he uses borrow to score the goal himself and use borrow as a decoy. And clearly in the situation, everybody knows that borrow won't pass the ball. And so he used that to his advantage and tricks his opponent and even his teammates that he will pass the ball to borrow. And that's the moment where Sagi devours Baro. Very courageous. Very awesome. You rock it, Sagi. You're so cool. Isagi is the goat. And here's another perspective of devouring. You can make the situation work for you. For example, if there is a goal that you can't accomplish with being in the situation, you can use the frustration that you have and use that to fuel you to come up with an idea or a way or another form to accomplish the goal of the situation. Another example would be with Rin. Now that Isagi leveled up from the previous match with Chigori, Kunigami, and Reo, and now they have Chigori, he is now in a league of his own and is capable of competing with the geniuses in Blue Lock like Green, but he's still not quite there yet to surpass Green. Or is he? The situation gets grim and grimmer during the game. In the Sagi, assessing the situation, first embrace the suck by accepting the situation that they're in, and tries to find a way to score goal himself. This is where the self-image comes in, where he thinks that he sees himself that is slightly better than Rin. They both are in the same league. However, Isagi lacks physical capabilities. Plus, he knows that Rin can read him and his strategy. He used that as a puzzle piece to counteract Rin's strategic move. And by using that, he outmatches Rin in the last second with a back heel. <laughs> And now, from gathering all the information from the examples, you're probably wondering, what can I benefit from this? What can I learn from this? Let's put it like this. When you're in a situation where it gets stressful and you don't want to be there or you hate your job, you simply first have to A, embrace the suck, accept the situation that you're in, accept that it sucks. Then step two is to figure out a way to overcome the situation. Like asking yourself, can I do something about it? Can I go to another job? Is there another option? Now going deeper above that is devouring. And the way you devour is either devouring your frustration, feeling frustrated, and using frustration as fuel to figure out a way to overcome the situation and devouring it, making you stronger. You do that by... is by using an individual to your advantage, or accomplish a task more efficiently. I hope this video will help you in any way of your daily life, whether it's going to school, going to work, or situations at school. Maybe that's, maybe that's the case for it, but and learn to devour your enemies, devour your classmates, devour your coworkers, or even devour your boss. Devour them and be better than them. That's very egotistic, but it's blue lock. Of course you're going to egotistical. Of course it is. As long as ego is beneficial and profitable, f*** it. Be egotistical, but don't be f*** about it. Don't get that twisted. But anyways, this is the end of the video. So I hope you like it. Hopefully this helps you. And I hope you have a good day. And remember, devour that like button. And devour that subscribe button. I hope you have a great day.